Hello, my name is Felipe Benavides, and today I'm going to be talking to you about my, a program I made of, about the triangle theorems. So, do you, oh, wait, 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 wait. so, this program is basically for students that are taking geometry, and I am taking like this course right now, and one of the things that gave me a hard time was learning some of the basic, the like some of the triangle theorems. Okay. And you're talking about the congruence. Yeah, terms? congruence. I mean, yeah. Okay. And so, like in my program, I uh, I asked five basic questions about this, to, so that like the um, student can can learn these theorems better. Okay. So starting out uh, at the start of every program, you will need your preprocessor directives. Here I used IO stream, CMath, and String. And what were the purposes of uh, what is the purpose of those three directives? Uh, well, uh, CMath is for the um, for for the for calculating the score. Mm -hmm. uh, string is because of the um, uh, for the variables, uh, and using name name space standard is also for that. Okay. So here, the first thing I did was defining the variables. I used, I used for the answers. I used the char, which is a character variable. So that means you can only like type one. So I th because the questions are multiple choice, so the user types in one letter. Okay. Char. So so char limits the input from the user to just one yeah. character. Okay. And into integer. It's like, so that the score is not, yeah, it's, it's, um, it's an integer, it's not like anything. A floating point, that's yeah. it. Okay. And for, the idea that for this, to calculate the score, if every question whether they got it right or wrong and for the final score. Okay. So, the beginning of the program, it, it tells you what the program is about mm -hmm. and it shows you the first question. Okay. So, in, in this case, the question is like, Triangle ABC is isosceles, and segment AB and AC are the legs of, and BC is the base. Mm -hmm. it, I use that. I say that's so what they know, like the how the triangle looks like. Mm -hmm. And from this information, you can conclude that. Uh, and here are the three choices: angle A, congruent, yeah, all the all those choices. Okay. So in this case, the answer I think it would be. I think it would be C. C. Okay. I think. And what happens if the person chooses something other than C? So it will show the answer is incorrect. It will show you what the right answer is, okay. and it it adds like it it takes away a hundred points from the score, oh, from okay. the final score. So you can actually have a minus score with the way you've done yeah. the program. Okay. So after the, the after doing that, so when the user types in the and so I use an if-then statement, so if the user types in like the correct answer, it will show that it's correct, and if, it, if the user types in the incorrect answer, it will show them what the right answer was. Okay. And it would also, as you can, as I already said, add and decrease from the score. Okay. So I did that, like the, basically the same thing for the next four questions. Okay, so this is the code for the, for the four questions. For those four questions, okay. So it pretty much uses the same structure, more or less. Yeah. Okay. So after. So when when all the answers, when uh, when the user finishes the five questions, here for every question I did score one, score two, and every, and every single one of them is added up to. The final score, which is my last variable. Okay. And then it displays the score. Score. And, and yeah. So it keeps track using a counter yeah. of your score. Okay. So here are some pictures of the I think it's missing. Of the actual program running. Mm -hmm. So there it asks you the question. Here for example, the user answered the the wrong answer, and uh -huh. it and it showed him what it was. Okay. So, yeah. and here's like a picture of the whole program. Mm -hmm. so like the variables, the four questions, each with the if and statement. Okay. And then, 
-hmm. And then at the end, the calculation of the final score. Okay. And yeah, the output of the score. Okay. And here's a short video of the program running. Okay. And you the use the. Uh, yeah, it's interesting that we're using screencastomatic.com to record your presentation, and part of your presentation is a recording that you did on screencastomatic.com. Yeah. So it's almost recursive in nature, right? Yeah. What did you learn about this assignment? How useful is this program? Where, where, who do you see uh, using this program? Uh, like any student in geometry, either middle school or high school, like I am right now, okay. that's doing the same, like the that's doing, like in the same unit I am in the same chapter. Okay. I am right do now. You, do you see uh, yourself uh, using this program yourself? Yeah, I think I would use it because I did have a hard time learning. Okay. Like what can you do to improve on this program? I could add more questions and uh -huh. make the make the structure a little more like. Not not that confusing because at the beginning, like when you answer correct and the next question, like go immediately. So, mm -hmm. so like you don't even get to see him. Okay. Okay. Great. Okay. Thank you, Felipe. Good job.